This huge area of sand behind me is called the Lommel Sahara and you can see why. It really looks like a little desert in the heart of Belgium. It's a really crazy landscape. Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. Over the past four years we have been on some epic adventures around the world. Now, after converting an old van into our new home on wheels, we are ready to hit the road and explore the wonders of Europe. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey and let the adventure begin! Good morning! Welcome to our Odyssey! Good morning! So we are here, parked up this morning, next to the town of Lommel in northern Belgium, about um, a few kilometers from the border to the Netherlands. And we are here to see a unique landscape, something which you really wouldn't expect in mainland Europe. But we're gonna have our breakfast first, we're gonna have a coffee, and then we'll get going. <laughs> yes! The summer is back. I just want to show you a quick where we camped last night. It was a very quiet and beautiful night. It's an amazing spot here as well. It's directly here on the canal and the sun is just coming out. It's a very beautiful morning. Beautiful spot. I love spots like this. Open, nice spots next to a forest, next to a canal. Can't ask for more. Woo! Beautiful. Ready to rock and roll. <laughs> nice here in this area. It's got this beautiful beech forest and some pine forest around and all these little sort of marshes and lakes sort of intertwined in between the forest. It's a really nice landscape and uh, you can hear a lot of bird life around so it seems to be really nice nature here. Yeah, this morning we saw already one eagle. We think it was an eagle and yesterday we saw a deer. Yeah, so this place is pretty pretty good for wildlife already. Yeah, yeah, you can see here's one protected area where you can't go. Only here are snakes and some rare birds and some lizards as well. So people are not allowed to go here. Yeah, so it's actually really cool when you see parts of the forest which have been fenced up uh, to stop people going. You can yeah. see that that's that means the local authority really do care about conservation and trying to make sustainable habitats for those animals. So yeah, that's really, really nice. nice. That's really nice. So this area is already really beautiful in its own right, just with all the beautiful forests and lakes. But this is actually not the main reason why people come to this place. They come to this place for this. Beautiful! <laughs> 
This huge area of sand behind me is called the Lommel Sahara and you can see why. It really looks like a little desert in the heart of Belgium. It's a really crazy landscape. But this place wasn't always like this. This is actually a tragic story of pollution. There was actually a huge nickel mine nearby and the polluted water caused the destruction of all the vegetation in the area. You can still see to this day how barren the landscape is. That's the result of pollution. So this beautiful place is actually formed from destruction. Now a lot of effort is being made to restore the habitat around. They've planted trees all in the surrounding area and uh, it really looks like they're trying to get this place back on track. But for the time being, until it's fully restored, we can really enjoy this unique landscape and imagine that we're in the middle of the Sahara Desert. Okay, so we're on our way back now, but there's one last really, really cool thing that you can see here in this park, and this is it. I don't know how high it is, but it looks high, and we're gonna climb it now. So I actually really don't like heights <laughs> and the floor is actually semi see-through so yeah it's not the coolest for me but I'm gonna persevere anyway to get to the top. You're so brave! And it's so windy as well. Oh my god yeah oh. it is. Oh hey! <laughs> Up and up and up. Made it to the top. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. yeah. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I really I'm not a huge fan of heights. Oh my god. That's mad. <laughs> we wanted to fly the drone, but it's too windy. It's super windy here. I think we wouldn't get it back on this platform to be no. honest if we launched it. No. <laughs> 
but you have amazing view from up here. You see many, many lakes here around and a lot of forests surrounding us. It's amazing. Back to the safety of the ground. <sighs> Survived? Just about. Back at the van. Red tornado. Red tornado. Oh. Uh. <laughs> ah, beautiful. So that was a really cool little bit of nature here in northern Belgium. Yeah, it was an absolutely amazing place to visit. We really loved it. It's very, very nice. Very very cool place to see yeah exactly with all the lakes and forests around it's just really nice to get out there exactly. and just to, yeah see this beautiful place mm -hmm. and the Sahara is a, certainly a really unique landscape I know that the formation of it is quite a sad story but you know we can enjoy it for what it is now and we can be hopeful for the future of it because they are working really hard to restore the area so yeah all in all an amazing visit absolutely amazing so that's it for today's episode we're gonna cook up some lunch now we really hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel we'll see you next time If you enjoyed watching this video, you would help us a lot by subscribing to the channel by clicking here. Thanks so much for watching guys, we will see you next time.